Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create an RSS campaign in MailChimp using the Campaign Builder. Let's get started. So before we dive into the steps involved in setting up an RSS campaign in MailChimp, I just want to talk about a little bit of, of what RSS is and what the process that is happening to make this work. So RSS stands for really simple syndication. Basically, it's a bunch of merge tags that enables your content, your blog posts, in particular WordPress, which is what we're going to be doing today, and having it sent into MailChimp. And anytime you create a new blog post, the MailChimp RSS campaign will send out a email automatically to your subscribers. So it's a set it and forget it type of thing. So keep that in mind as we build this out. Now before we start building the RSS campaign, I just wanted to ha have you take a look at what it actually looks like. So this is a preview mode of my RS RSS campaign that we're going to be creating. So I have my logo. I have a static title. Here's what's new with Security Marketing Solutions. And everything else is piped in from the RSS feed, including recent articles that you see down at the bottom there. All right, now let's start digging in and setting this up. So I'll click out of that. That's kind of like what it looks like behind the scenes, but let's start from scratch. So as always, we start from the dashboard of MailChimp. We're gonna click on Create Campaign. We're gonna type in RSS, and it'll automatically populate for us what we're looking for. This is the one right here. It's an automation, right? It's gonna do automatically be sending out updated blog content to your subscribers. So it's an automation campaign. We'll click on share blog updates and we can just call this demo or maybe demoing since I already have a demo. And we're gonna select the list that we wanna send this to. Click begin. Now this is where we're going to put in our RSS feed. Now for me, I've gone the extra step of actually taking my uh, RSS feed from WordPress and putting it into FeedBurner. So I'll put that in here. Now for you, if you're on Blogger, Wix, Weebly, you're going to have to uh, go check with those entities to see how you get your RSS feed into MailChimp. MailChimp might even try to guess it. If you say here, it says if you don't know what it is, enter the URL of your blog and MailChimp will try to find it for you. So maybe to start with that way first. Next, we get into the programming. How, do, how often do we want to send this? When do we send a, want to send this? And what days of the week do we want to send this? I try not to send anything on Sundays. Uh, I would probably want to do it every day because otherwise I don't want to bombard them with a whole bunch of blog posts at the end of the week. Uh, but that's up to you. If you only blog once a week, that's great. But if you're creating uh, content uh, a few times a week, you might want to do it every day. So at least they're going to see your content. I'm going to pick uh, 7 o'clock. And by default, uh, MailChimp knows what time zone I'm in. I can't change that. Okay, once our days of the week are set, then we can also check off RSS feed images to fit template. Now down the bottom here, MailChimp gives you some nice FAQs. If you have any more questions, feel free to go through these FAQs. I'm gonna click next. This is where we set up who do you wanna send it to? Do you wanna send it to your entire list? Do you wanna save it to a pre-built segment? Or do you wanna create a new segment? Now I haven't really talked about segmentation, but I'm gonna click on a saved segment that I have, SMS blog posts. And I've created this by, by default. It's a little checkbox when you do a sign up to, for the free ebook. And uh, I've got some people in there that I want to send my that I want to send my automated RSS campaigns to. All right, and we can update the recipient account. It's 161. But take a look at these other pre-built segments that Mailchimp creates for you. So if you have uh, if you want to uh, increase subscriber engagement, they you can send it to inactive subscribers 
or if you want to just uh, uh, send it out to the people who actually are active in your uh, mail list, you can send it to them or you can send it to new people within the last seven days. If you've got an e-commerce solution connected to MailChimp, big commerce, WooCommerce, what have you, you can do this type of interaction here. And you also can do demographics, although I'm not sure how accurate that is. Once you're all set with your segmentation, or if you want to send it to the entire list, click Next. Okay, here's a, another opportunity to change the campaign name. Of course, that's internal, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then here's where we start getting to see these RSS merge tags. So right here we have post from. Now RSS feed title is the title of your website. The RSS feed date obviously is the date of the feed that's being sent out to your subscribers. So that will change when new content is up and it sends it out automatically. Of course you want to put in the from name and your email address. Some other features here that you can go over uh, and select if you need them. Uh, tracking opens is always good. Tracking clicks is always good. I have it uh, Google Analytics link tracking. Uh, I have that checked off uh, and I have my Google Analytics connected and we could just uh, do a demo for that. And we also have the e-commerce link track. Another feature for your uh, campaign is to auto tweet so anytime a new blog post goes out, it'll auto-tweet this campaign to where you set it up, whether it's uh, uh, Twitter or Facebook. And we'll just click Next. Now here's where you set up your template, and you have a lot of choices here. I'm going to stick with Share Your Story. And it will auto-populate here, and now we can get going on creating our RSS elements. So the first thing we do is switch out our logo. So I'm going to click Replace. I'm going to type in SMS. Hit Search. There's the logo I want. Click Insert. I'm going to go down to Share Your Story. So I'm going to type in Here's What's New with Security marketing solutions. I'm going to take out that uh, paragraph underneath. Save and close that. I'm not sure if I need this image here because we're going to be uh, adding in our featured image. So I'm going to delete that. I'm basically going to delete all the rest of the uh, content blocks here. I don't really need any of this. I just want to start off with a blank slate. Now the two components that we're going to be uh, taking a look at is RSS header. Now if I put that in here and I put it up top here, let's see if we'll put it up there, and if we go take a look what it's going to bring in, it kind of says the same thing of what I'm talking about in the title here. So I what I usually do is I don't use the RSS feed title, but you can certainly uh, take a look at it and add it in if you want. But I'm going to delete that, and where the magic really happens is with the RSS items. So let's drag that in there. Now there are a couple of options here, up top here, over on the RSS item style. You have excerpts, titles, so you could just have titles only. You could do full content, or you can do custom. Now with custom, you can actually get into the code and add in customizations for the RSS merge tags. And it'll, notice down here there's a link that says RSS merge tags. And when you click that, it'll open up a, a new file here where you can learn more about the RSS tags and which ones you can add in additionally than the ones that MailChimp gives you by default. All right, let's get back to our builder. But I'm going to stick with full content. And let's take a look at what this looks like in the browser. And there we go. Now, uh, we haven't really talked about the featured image because that is a nuanced thing. Uh, by default, RSS feeds from WordPress do not include the featured image. To do that, I had to add a specific plugin. So we're going to take a look at that next. 
What I had to do over on my blog is add in a, a plugin called Featured Image in RSS with Size and Position. If we click on Settings, there's a premium version of this plugin, but I'm just using the free version, and there are three options that you can choose from. So you have, I set the size of the feed images to medium, I have it image centered above text, and I have a spacing of five. Now, as I said, the reason why is that by default, the featured image does not come in to the RSS feed. So what this plugin enables you to do is adds in the specific RSS merge tags to grab that featured image, pipe it over to, uh, pipe it over to MailChimp, and so there's nothing really to do on the MailChimp side to get the image in. This plugin does it for you. In addition to adding the featured image, you also want to make sure that you have an excerpt that will show up in the RSS feed. And to do that for your posts, you go to all posts. We'll just pick one. We'll pick the latest one that I did. This one right here, that's the one we're working on. We're going to click on edit. and go under screen options and make sure you have excerpt checked off and below Yoast we have the excerpt. Now this is what's going to get pulled in with the RSS so make sure you have an excerpt in here that people can read a little snippet of or a summary of what the blog post is about because if you go back to the builder here you can see this is the excerpt that's being pulled in to the builder. So that's really important, really gives a, a call to action for people to read what's going on in your blog post. There you go, guys. That's how easy it is to set up a RSS campaign in MailChimp. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking to the end. I know these videos are kind of long, but they are hopefully useful for you. If they are, make sure you click the like button. I really appreciate that. If you have any comments or questions about MailChimp, please post in the comments below. I'd love to take a look and hopefully answer a few. And if you want to know more about me, go to larrysnow.me, and I'll see you in the next video.